So, have you seen uh, night vision mods or maybe texture packs? And as you can see, n like, ma basically none of them work. Or this could be the first video you find on it, which would be actually pretty cool. But yeah, I've tried many different texture packs, um, texture packs for night vision, and zero of them work. So um, today I'm going to be showing you. Um, a good one that I actually know. It isn't really a texture pack, but it works really well. And I'm just going to show you here um, how it looks like at night. Okay. As you can see, you can see everything completely clearly. If I have a little bit of lag, I'm sorry. <laughs> My computer, like, oh, dang, bro. Okay. Um. But yeah, as you can see, you can see things very nicely. Um, sorry if my voice just lagged there. But anyways, uh, as you can see, my, as you can see, everything is very like visible, and like you can see everything clearly. And um, as you can tell, this night vision is really good. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you how to get it and um. Bring some other cool stuff too, so uh, yeah, so stay tuned, guys. I want to show you everything about this. Uh, anyways, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to your browser and uh, okay, let's just wait and um, searching up. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for my browser to load up, okay? So go to your browser and search up lunar. Client. Wow, okay, that sounds a little bit loud for me. Using Opera and it has like these sound effects when you type. It's kind of cool. So yeah, you search up Lunar Client. I don't know if I said it, but yeah, search up Lunar Client. And as you can see, you're going to find here the number one Minecraft client, Lunar Client. And it's going to click right there. And then you're going to have to go to download. Then you're gonna have to scroll down here to Windows. I mean, well, it depends. Um, I use Windows. You could be using Linux. I don't know anybody who uses that. You could be using Mac. I don't know, but I use Windows, so I'm just gonna click Download for Windows. And um, there it is downloading. Um, as you can see, this is gonna start downloading on the desktop. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna press Save. And there is the EXE. So if you don't know what an EXE is, it's basically like a file. Um, on PC. Um, that basically allows you to um, <clears throat> download a program. I'm a little bit sick, so I have to take deep breaths because my nose is a little bit congested. But anyways, so you're here with your EXE, and uh, I'm just going to press here, show in folder. Well, it depends. All browsers say that, but for me, it's just there. But anyways, you're going to want to open the file wherever you put it. Then, you know, just open it. It's gonna run you through some steps, the license agreement. Um, I always press agree to that because it's mainly stuff that like, you know, I, I once when I was installing an antivirus, I think I read the terms of service and it said, uh, please don't use this for like, to power a nuclear bomb or some sort of nuclear weapon. I don't know, some, I, it wasn't really quoted like that. He didn't say some sort of nuclear weapon, but I don't know, bro. This is some weird stuff in terms of service. But anyways, so when you get that running, I don't know if OBS really recorded some of that, but yeah, it opened the tab and like, it was just like, you know, you open the license agreement and you just got to accept to that. And then I'm just going to wait for a window to open up here. There it is. So as you can see, um, it downloaded Lunar Client. It's going to look something like this. So you're going to have your home, your servers, your settings, your about, um, your store. Oh, dang. Okay. Why did this just open? Microsoft. Um, all right. So uh, you're here, and uh, I, whatever version you want to play on, this allows for lots of versions. We're gonna play on one point nineteen point four. I mean, one point nineteen point four. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, I'm just gonna press the launch. And uh, yeah, when you open up Lunar for the first time, it takes uh, like quite a lot of time to you know load. So I'm just gonna have to wait here. And also, just saying, if you guys ever hear some sort of static, it's that, like, OBS is, you know, a bit bad with my computer, and I can't get it to work with my FPS being good and my voice also to sound good. 
not sound like horrifically staticky, which is what happened in like some of my videos, and I somehow still posted them, and I didn't just scrap it, but yeah, just saying, like, my voice is, if it sounds bad, just, I don't know, just ignore it, I know that happened, and your speakers aren't broken. So, so after that, um, okay, there it is. I was waiting quite a while. But yeah, um, after you press launch, um, Lunar Client is going to close, I'm pretty sure, maybe stay open. But yeah, Minecraft is going to load sooner or later. And uh, wow, this is very slow. I think my computer is struggling. Damn, bro. All right. Oh, oh. great, I got a cough too now. But yeah, just uh, wait a bit. Minecraft should load. Anyways, after Minecraft loads, you're gonna be greeted with a menu that looks something like this, but you can obviously change it to whatever you want here. But yeah, so you're gonna log in with your account. There's something that I had to do. So as you can see, it's basically just like normal Minecraft. You can play a um, single player. Dang, bro, my PC's struggling. Okay, single player. Um, you can go here to to multiplayer. Uh, I'm just gonna press cancel, but yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go to single player. I'm just gonna create a new world. So uh, I actually use a lunar client before, and I use it for the intro of this video. I just hope that settings reset, and I like I can sort of give a you know kind of like a fresh start explanatory procedure. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna have to wait for this to load. Uh, anyways, so here you are in your Minecraft world, and um, my settings actually didn't clear. As you can see, I still have my keystrokes and my FPS in the top, just like from the intro. But anyways, I sort of reset it for you guys. So you're going to have to press escape, and you're going to go here to the game menu. And you're going to press um, lunar options. When you're in, okay, here, lunar options, go to search, and search up um, brightness. I mean, I just put bright, but it's actually lighting. Then this you're gonna have to turn it on. Um, oh yeah, so you can like, wow, okay, that's just okay. Anyways, so um, oh the damn, okay, light. Here it is. So you're gonna have to search up this setting by brightness or just lighting, and then you're gonna get this. You're just gonna have to toggle that on. And as you can see, uh, time set night. It's the same thing as the intro, and you can see here, um, okay, so I can't really walk using this client without me lagging horrifically bad, because my PC, but, yeah, uh, hopefully your PC doesn't lag as much as mine does, so you won't, this tutorial is just, like, not incredible, since we're gonna have, like, 30 FPS, but anyway, so that's how you do it, um, why am I pressing tab like if there's players online? <laughs> so, yeah, just uh, go to here, lunar options, search up light, and you're gonna get this. You're gonna have to toggle it on, and it's gonna turn to green. You're gonna exit right here, and boom. Now you have this super nice night vision. This is sort of like a bonus. Um, I don't know why, but when you turn this on, it bypasses all anti x ray. I'm not joking, bro. I literally tried this in two different servers, and the anti-x-ray, uh, that is sort of like, you know, it, it puts fake ores to cover up the it goes away. Like, completely. I, I, I got a full set of iron armor on a server that I'm not really gonna tell you about, but, uh, yeah, just by using that x-ray, and it's actually... like completely mad but yeah um that same thing also kind of um it's from my caps lock um also works for you know as a hack and that's a uh, pretty crazy oh and also i've been doing it 500 times now but yeah so if you press z you can zoom in which is actually like pretty cool um it's so you don't have to download optifine and uh now you can look at your enderman with excellent pres precision uh i just realized that kills me too but yeah um anyway thanks for watching um be sure to subscribe um i bet you can't subscribe before those husks get to me 
So, uh, yeah, go down, hit subscribe, remember to turn on the bell for all notifications, and, um, uh, see you in the next one, guys.